Put that down there. Aw, oh, thank you. I'll still wear glasses too, I promise. I love this song. I'll share a link to it again. I have a playlist of all the music I tend to use when I stream. Log into the Streamlabs. Quiet my phone down so it's not all loud. There we go. Yeah, after this song, we can jump into the game. And I can turn the volume back up for it. Doki Doki, okay. Let me see. 13 plus content warning, disturbing cuties, quiet club. Okay. Part two. Update info. Doki Doki is a super cute um, visual novel that is supposed to get very dark and dismal. Aw, you're good, Itachi. It does translate to your waifu is trash. It does. Everyone's waifu is trash. Hello, Hustle Muscle. I like that icon, Itachi. No, not Doki Doki Panic. We're almost to the end of the song, you guys, and then we can get started. I want to see if we can woo Yuri or how far we can get her. Everybody's so cute. I feel like I'm going to be terribly deceived. Alright, let the song fade out. Aw, thank you! Thank Happy you, Diamond Monday, Drake. everyone. Carrot underscore carrot. Carrot underscore carrot. Happy Monday, everyone. Carrot underscore carrot. Thank you so much. Hey, Nick, what is up? What is up? All right, so we have the game up. Let me go ahead and turn the volume on for it. And I think everything, let me see here. I could get rid of my overlay that I do. Gorgeous. Now you're into this, this lovely game or my yeah my music's still at the same volume so we are right back you're working late i'm really sorry we are right back where we were thank you Catherine. happy fuji steam D. <laughs> happy fuji steam <laughs> i know you meant stream or you could have meant steam because i'm okay with that happy fuji steam happy fuji steam yeah it could be about aliens I'm really scared. You said things are about to get intense. I'm nervous. I hope they get intense in like a good way and not intense in like a bad way. Like I regret doing this way. That would be so scary. Let me make sure. And I did put out the, I put out the notification on Discord. I put it out on Twitter. And I think, did I put it on YouTube too? I did, good. I wanted to make sure that I put it everywhere humanly possible. So I think I'm good. Once again, sorry if my voice is hoarse and a little husky. Um, my throat's a little sore. <laughs> oh, who broke a rule? Who did? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you can still watch. And I know I made my November goal for us to get to 2,500 followers. I don't know if we will, but I put it there anyway. <laughs> Don't ban them. I'm sure he's a good person. All right. Looks like we are ready to begin. To begin our adventure. Let me move this over here. Ah! Thank you poetry so much. Poetry slam part two. Yeah, poetry, <laughs> poetry, poetry slam part two. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, love. There we go. I'm gonna bring this down here and bring this down here so I can read. All of the chat. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think I need to make that bigger though. That's what she said. There we go. Awesome. Now I can see everything. Hello, Tex. <gasps> I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome, welcome. All right. So, last where we left off, I forget exactly what was happening. I knew we were trying to woo Yuri, and we had just done uh, that poetry that we had to do. I really wish we got to read our own poems because I want to, but we haven't gotten to read them, so. When I did pigtails tonight, you guys, I had a few people ask, so I tried. They're really pathetic pigtails, but it's okay. So Yuri says, yeah, let's get deep, you guys. Yuri says, I got too absorbed in my book. <laughs> See, Yuri, aha, hello, Chibi Puggle. 
Hello, DVS. Hello, Omni. Thank you. Kitty ears. I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. <laughs> Thank you. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Revolution? What does she mean by that? Retribution. That. <laughs> there we go. It is really spooky, Chibi Puggle. I guarantee it. At least that's what I've been told. Still, coming from you, Siori, I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Ha ha. Ha. I bet there is. Don't let her fool you. Siori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So we had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit <laughs> than that, Sayori. I think a lot of the endings are spooky too. I hope we don't get like a really bad ending, because then we'll have to like go back and play a little more. I do remember you, Chibi Puggle. Of course I do. There's a jump scare? Oh, crap. <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Siori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What was... Huh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Ah, thank you! <laughs> Craigasm 1, Craigasm 1. Look at all of those. There go all of the heads falling in the cup. As they will within the series. <laughs> yeah, if there's a jump scare, I'm not so excited. I'm scared. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. He? <laughs> I was gonna just give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Natsuki! That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Siori hugs the cookie. Hello, Crystal. Hello, hello. Jeez, just eat it. Siori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Siori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. I was scared something terrible was going to happen. Like it was poisoned or there was a needle in it and it was going to go higurashi. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a big bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez, beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, but why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. I'm still really happy that you shared this one with me. Ah, uh, thank you for the follow. Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Siori off her. <laughs> Siori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hello, Storm Surge. Hi. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? Mm. Mouthful, Siori trots away to safety. That's something I would do. I steal people's food. I'm a bad person. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Huh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the classroom. Uh, where's Monica anyway? I know, there's so many pink-haired girls. Mouthful A. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Mouthful A, Kappa. <laughs> yeah, Amokau. I, I think I said your name wrong. But yeah, there's so many pink-haired characters or like magical hair characters. You're like, who's the main character? We don't know. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't heard anything either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Huh? You don't think she... She has a... I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. That's not true. Excuse me? <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Huh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? 
Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. I thought she was saying her period held her up. I was like, wow, this comic is pushing boundaries. <laughs> to be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Fushi. Monica smiles sweetly. See, that picture is adorable. She's like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I don't know when in life I've been like, yo bro, like hands behind the back kind of thing. Dumbledore was Dora the Explorer's biological father. You know, I would believe that. I would, no, drums are good. Drums take skill. Like, okay, the, the lead guitarist is cool, but like, Sometimes the drummer is amazing. You don't know. Sometimes. Monica is super adorable. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose to leave Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. 13 plus? Yeah, Silent Fire. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble if it was dark and some kid was like... After the stream. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. <sighs> We're gonna talk to our waifu, you guys! We're gonna talk to our waifu, I'm so excited. Whenever I use the word waifu, I feel like total trash. I don't know why. I'm like, I'm garbage. Waifu garbage. I'm going to drink some water. Today we are hydrating with pure aqua. This is Walgreens brand water. Or it might be Aldi. I don't know, I'm a liar. I don't remember where I bought my water. <laughs> I have not played Everlasting Summer. Will Ko Kojibi? Well, Koji B, did I say that right? <laughs> Not sponsored by water, but you should drink it all the time. Water is how you get good skin. Mine's okay. I can use the magic of lights to make you think it's better than it is, so. <laughs> Walgreens sellout. I am, I am a Walgreens sellout. You know what I like about streaming and stuff when you have a webcam? Is nobody has to see how you're dressed, so totally wearing boxer shorts right now, but you can't see that, <laughs> so. Secrets, yeah. You must drink nothing else? Yeah. Real gamers don't wear pants. Yeah, some of us are garbage sprinkled with glitter. Oh, you saw? Did you see? They're, they're Pink Floyd boxer shorts. What up? Pink Floyd boxers. Maybe some of you guys are too young to know who that is. You have a camera in my room? Dude, that sucks. <laughs> we need like a no pants icon. Ah, thank you, Iron. Yeah, Nick? Yeah, I like never wear pants. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just comfortable to wear like boxer shorts and stuff. It's on Nemo's fort. Nemo's not in here today because he got in trouble because he kept climbing up that. He was being a bad boy. <gasps> Don't you email my hamster. I do not approve. So now we're going to try and talk to Yuri. Oh, by the way, yes. If anybody tweets about the stream, I will retweet if you tag me in it. <gasps> oh, thank you so much, Stardev. He's class is in session. Come join Miss Fushi as she streams Doki Doki Literature Club. However, there are scares in this game. You have been warned. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Pants are overrated. Pants are an outdoor prison. And you wear leggings, Katrin? Never pants, oh yeah. Hola. 
Hello, Tas Grande. All right. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Uh, I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. <gasps> Bye, Nick. Thank you for coming. I look forward to recording with you tomorrow. Yeah, I will check it out. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no. I was kind of just waiting for you. <gasps> Yuri was waiting for us. Uh, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? <laughs> Alright, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. If there's one thing that can make reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. I'm so sorry, Otto Chris. Yeah, because aren't pants meaning underwear in Britain? Because I am indeed wearing underpants, good sir. But it's, we're talking about, like, pants pants. Like, a, like, um, pair of pants. <laughs> this game. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. Which, by the way, I'm commissioning a loot emoji. Or, like, one that says loot or something. I'm working on an idea for a design with an artist that I like. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Lootstrom! You did a Twitter? I'll have to, I'll have to re, uh, retweet that TV. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. <laughs> I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk. Then we'll go get some water. Hello, Sarah Bat! We just got started, so you're not late at all. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Oh, goodness, guys. The vapors. This is very descriptive. Now I know why people do visual novels. Oh my gosh. I have no idea what the- We have some Liddy streaming on Twitch with Miss Fushi Gaming. Thank you, Puggle. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Oh yeah? The day I get verified? That'd be cool. It'd be cool if we got partnered someday instead of just affiliated. Thanks. I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. I need an infusion of we do we do need an infusion of mercury. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Where are you two off to? Uh, we're just. Yuri was going to make some tea. I suddenly realize how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. There, like Monica blue balling us again. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's. Monica, please mind your own business for once. <gasps> oh, 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 Yuri, being savage. Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Fushi in club activities? Huh? My mouth gapes. I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. <laughs> ah, Yuri, oh my god. Yuri, she's being so savage, you guys. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Let's go, Fushi. Ah, uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Oh my god. You guys. Oh my god. Yuri is savage. I'm getting scared, guys. Did we pick the girl who's gonna kill us? Maybe we made a mistake. We're gonna find out. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said it. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but... It's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Fushi... How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because... Nothing that you do is bad. As as bad as you made it seem in your head. You can, the comments are killing me, guys. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions, and we can't always hide them away. 
incoming a hangout face. <laughs> but you always amplify things in your head. I know how that feels. I do that same dang thing. Like if someone's a little off to me, I secretly think that they hate me or I've done something terrible. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Uh, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? A friend, you say? Um, Yuri lifts her head. Fushi, I really like being friends with you. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward seeing something like that. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Oh. <laughs> it's Derma! <laughs> Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Fushi, do you like oolong tea? Somebody once told me I ate the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> I can't. Don't get that song stuck in my head. Hannah Montana Mojo. Perfect. That was adorable, you guys. That scene was really cute. Oh, uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less. Something, something that I press the button by. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Hoo <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Or perhaps I will. <laughs> Senpai. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? Oh! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Here's the money. You scared me! Oh my god, thank you so much! <laughs> thank you, Adam. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't have anything that I do when I when people donate, but thank you. Thank you, thank you. That was really loud. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Adam. Thank you so much. This is so... I need to learn how to bow properly, because it just looks like I'm kind of like breaking my neck, basically. Thank you very much, love. I'm very grateful. That is perfect pizza money. <laughs> you almost barked at it. <laughs> I died a little bit too, because I was so into the scene and then it happened, and I had my volume way up, and I was like, is it? Well, you saw, you were, you were there. You were there. Thank you, love, thank you. Your dog did a bork. None of my kitties are in the room tonight. Uh, you do. <laughs> Is that so? Aww. And then we make sure it's showing on there, right? Yosh, swarm of crows. I put the donations at the bottom so that they would show, so hopefully it does. If it doesn't, we'll smack it in the face. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Yeah, I thought it was the jump scare too for a second. Dun dun. There we go, it shows. Okay, cool. I want to make sure it did, because I would be upset if it didn't show on there. I was letting it show. Ooh, what was she letting show, you guys? And you noticed? I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. I know, I'm wearing headphones too. <laughs> That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Fushi. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't just kidding. Or wasn't kidding. Donation jump scares. <laughs> when I doubt, when in doubt, smack it in the face. I don't know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour, Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Fushi... I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. 
I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. If you sit on the floor, we can lay on the floor, Yuri. You know. That's what I would say if I was a creepy man. You know. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Uh, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. We do need a loot emoji. I'm gonna get one. We need a loot emoji. <laughs> DM you siding. What? <laughs> I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Yeah, that emoji, Adam. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching, guys. Ah! You better be 13. This is getting so inappropriate. Hello, Shinwei. Hey, Humbugu! What's up? How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. <laughs> Shoulder touch. Thank you, Tachi. Look at all those bum 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 bum. Shoulder touch. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Thank you, Itachi. Thank you so much. Sploosh, exactly. That sounds so disgusting. Holding it with my hand, that's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. <laughs> so much loot. So much loot. Thank you, Star. Thank you. YouTube is demonetized. I'm uploading these archives to YouTube after, so they're gonna be demonetized. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Why? What is happening? What is happening here, guys? Oh my god. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. Of candy. For the candy, yes. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you, Katrin. XP. Oh my god. You're not sorry, Septima. Yeah, it's getting really lewd. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Ah! He should put the candy in her mouth so that she doesn't have to touch it. Wouldn't that be so helpful of us? Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, girl on fire. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuki is... Or Yugi, Yuri. I fudged out because I was... Yuri is totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. Ah! She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. Guys, we're going in. Thank you for following. We are going in. 
I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Uh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Fushi... Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... well... you were just helping. That's something that... friends do. Right? I mean... Not really in this kind of context, but... <laughs> Katrin, thank you! <laughs> Guys, we are going in. Ushi 2017 Nude XP. We are going in. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. Then. You don't need to stop or anything. <laughs> I see. The situation has gotten really... Intense. There's a hamster moving back there. Yuri tries to return to the book. But I can tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. But this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. E-A-N and E-D-B-L-D-F moist. Thank you, Archduke! Thank you, love! I noticed her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. Her breathing, we're gonna say that. I raise my arm. Uh, like before, Yuri parts her lips. But it's different this time. <laughs> I can't! Krega. Oh my god. And then afterwards, Itachi just says, feed her like a good girl. Itachi! The frick! <laughs> Look at all of those heads. That was beautiful. Thank you, Itachi. <laughs> you did enlist the hamster. I readjusted my chair like every 10 minutes, by the way. So, BT dubs. Guys, this is really, really lewd. I These words are lewd. My voice has now said these words, and this is on the internet. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Monica! My little trucker. <laughs> she interrupted us. I was getting so into it. And then Monica's just like, by the way, let me just, let me just interrupt this. Oh my god. <laughs> Gushing. <laughs> Thank you, Archduke. Guys. Son of a nut. She interrupted us, guys. Damn it, Monica. 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 We were so close. She's like the bad roommate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Good. Thank you for allowing that message, Itachi. I totally allow people to say <laughs> cock blocked <laughs> in my chat. <laughs> Damn it, you guys. Son of a cock. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's No Nut November with Monica. <laughs> I should have called this episode No Nut November with Monica. But it would have been great. It's not like it's not like when it goes to YouTube they're gonna let me monetize it anyway. <laughs> Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. I don't wanna share poems, Monica. Freaking Ah I was so close. C U C K E D. It said C C U C K E D. The robot voice. Oh no, look at them all go everywhere. <gasps> we got one. Beautiful. The balls are blue and it's not even snowing. <laughs> right now our balls are as blue as my hair. That's how that's how serious this situation is. God. God. I'm gonna drink some water, because I'm so thirsty right now. Bye, TV. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I'm retweeting anybody who tweeted about this stream. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Itachi, being in there with a the good mod, letting people say things. I have to be careful about my ban words list. Maybe it's a little too, a little too strong right now. 
because clearly we need these lewd words. I'm sorry, my bra itches. This is lewd, but it's off camera, so it's gonna be okay. All right, I think there's a cat hair in there or something. I don't know. I've been around a lot of cats lately. <laughs> thank you for the follow, Chris. Thank you, thank you. Fushi, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll... I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. Hello, Crow! Hey! I pick up the bag of chocolates. I know, Brian's in class right now. Or he's doing homework, I believe. I think he's doing homework. That's why we're not playing Dragon Quest tonight, because I didn't want to play Dragon Quest without Brian seeing it, since he lent me his copy. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. <laughs> I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. I actually ship Brian with Swarm of Crows, aka Itachi, because they belong together. Alright guys, who should we show our poem to first? I'm gonna scratch my boobs. Oh, thank you! I am a marshmallow, I am doughy, and I am white, aka Caucasian, <laughs> so I am a very doing marshmallow um yeah brian itachi moist yeah let's go check out yuri first i'm gonna listen to will koji b <laughs> say your name so wrong yuri oh okay big sister sarah thank you very much it gets really hard to remember the usernames but thank you for telling me that oh monica can go jump there's too many bobs in this Yuri has good bobs. Very good bobs. Let's see what you've written for today. <laughs> Show us your, your poem to Mr. Cock Blockula, Monica. <laughs> I can't. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Fushi. This one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. See, we're so good to her, we belong together. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid. <laughs> Swallows. <laughs> Thank you, Itachi. That was beautiful. I appreciate it. We are, there are so many, like, Craigasm heads in our cup up there. <laughs> but seeing someone motivated by my writing... It just makes me really happy. Are you saying that you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. <gasps> she doesn't have any close friends, you guys. No wonder why, or I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's with you. All right, guys. Oh, wow, this one's longer. Are you guys ready? This one is called The Raccoon. The Raccoon. I'm gonna have to look closer because it's all in script and it's harder to read. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as a... unordinary human. There we go. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge. 
The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood, classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread, and I feed myself again. Girl, that was suggestive. Especially the raccoon becoming excited. The bread is fresh and soft and blood is rushing. This is very inappropriate. My goodness, that was, um, yeah, those are words that I read. Um, <laughs> I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. You were, goodness gracious. Girl, I wanna show you my knife. I won't cut you some bread. <laughs> Mithrault, that emoji. Oh my gosh. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. I can. I can. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. See, this Fushi in the story is dumb, but for me, I could write about that poem. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself, so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Because they're embarrassing and people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Fushi? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individuality. My interpretation of the poem went either very dark because of a knife and indulging in something which could be um, either something sexual or something related to self-harm. I'm not sure. I don't know where it was going. The game said that it was dark, so I don't know what that means. Especially since she's a horror buff, I'm not sure whether she's sadistic or masochistic or not, so I don't really know what the knife is doing, but it was definitely very sexual for a poem. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit now. She does seem like she could be a little yandere, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. Writing, listening, giving me chocolate. <laughs> there really aren't many people like you, Fushi. That's exaggerating a little bit. It's just how I feel. I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. And now, I almost feel like I look forward to it. But it's just a really nice feeling. And you're to thank for that. It's, it's nothing, really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. For just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. Ah, thank you! Kappa 1 violets are blue, roses are red. By the end of the day, you'll be in my bed. <laughs> Let's all share some poetry. That's beautiful. Beautiful. That was very well written. I like how the end was, I knew this was going to go wrong. And it did, and you did not disappoint me. So, thank you, Lord Royal Man. That was beautiful. Fushi's gonna have a knife time, Zerabath. <laughs> That's funny. All right, who are we gonna show? Oh, by the way, I'm just gonna do a save. I know we don't need to, but I'm gonna save it anyway. Uh, someone said Sayori, so let's go to her next. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one, Fushi. It has a nice feeling to it. Oh, 
<laughs> is Sturma. I'm not going to read that one out loud, but that was also lovely. Good job. I'm proud of you. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Hmm, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. He? That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. Amokal. Oh my gosh, I can't with that song. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. <gasps> Goodness. And then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. I honestly don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Somebody text? No. 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 <laughs> Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aw, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. Strong Damn, damn it, you guys. You guys. I'm about, I'm about to put some... No, I'm not going to ban anybody, but I can pretend. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Rory Man destroyed it. He ruined the, the no combo break... Or what is it? C -c -c combo breaker. I think it was back in the back in the early 2000s. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Words. Eh? Well... I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try and keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. <laughs> Septima. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. <laughs> My text with the font. <laughs> Yuri does want chocolate. Her bow is really, really cute. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad like melancholy? I can't see you liking something sad, Siori. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can give you the rain cloud, can help you give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow. Siori, that's unexpectedly poetic. It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Fushi. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Alright, you guys. Now we're going to read Sayori's poem. And my voice is cracking, but that's okay. It's from all my rave yelling. I'm going to check and see my phone real quick. I have a bunch of notifications. I just want to make sure, I always make sure none of them are like my parents or something like that. I like the music during uh, hers. Hello, Play Rigel. Welcome to the stream. Oh. Oh, awesome. More creepy Instagram DMs. I just love those. They're my favorite. If you ever want to send me an Instagram DM, you are free to do so, but please don't make them creepy. All right. You guys ready? It's one of your favorite poems in the game, Inverted? All right, cool. Oh, I'm excited to read it. Hey, Martin. Oh, I've done that way too many times and I'm not proud of it. Bottles. Oh my gosh. I just read the first line. <laughs> All right. Itachi, don't you send me wiener photos. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. There's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all my other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles all in a row. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. 
I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading something, but all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Oh, that's so sad. To me, it feels like she's trying to live up to expectations other people have for her, and little by little, she's losing the ability to stay happy, and she's feeling fake, and everything's just sort of blowing up in her face. Guys, that was really deep and really sad. Yeah, holy crap. Dude, that was really, really deep of a poem. Itachi, what did you send me? Itachi sent me a picture of a wiener, you guys. I just, I just want to make this clear. Itachi sent me a wiener photo. <laughs> it's a wiener. <laughs> Thank you, Itachi. I appreciate you. That was a beautiful, beautiful picture. Holy crap. Sayori, did you write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. That almost sounds like so negative. Ah. Hey, baby, wake from your sleep. We doesn't have much time. My blue jeans is tight, so onto my love rocket climb. Is that from a song? That sounds really familiar, Royal Man. Is it? I don't know. Reminds me of the song Lemon Tree for some reason. I forget who does that. But I remember hearing that in high school. I don't know. Hello, Enderman. Thank you, Lord Royal Man. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Yay! See, I knew it was from a song. Thank you, by the way. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Welcome, Martin. Because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about this. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, oh, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little better. Writing is like magic. We've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best! I'm gonna keep writing until I die! Oh no. No, why did you say that? I'm so scared for you! <laughs> I don't want you to die, Sayori, please. Please, Sayori, don't die. Why would you say that? I'm not, I wouldn't say that about anything. Hi, devil. Or the da evil. The devil. Ah, the devil, I see. <laughs> uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had a bad habit of getting obsessed with something for dropping it, and no more than a week later. Oh, just like me. I do that. I'm a terrible, flaky, inconsistent person, but you guys know that. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. <laughs> I'm so scared now, guys. Oh, heck. She said a thing. I know. That makes me scared. Let's do Natsuki, because I feel like we never give her any love. But Natsuki looks like a small child, so... I don't have a lowly crush on her. I just want to hug her because, poor thing. I had a similar, like, hair length in high school, and I also looked really young, so I totally get her struggle. Well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. That's good. But I still don't like this at all. It's trying too hard to be serious. What do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep-sounding to express something. 
It's going to just sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this unless you're on Yuri's level. Natsuki stopped short all of a sudden. Don't tell me... Huh? You're not... You're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? Impress. What are you talking about? And keep your voice down. You know Yuri would love this kind of... This angsty... Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean... I mean... Ugh. Looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, although what I did is beyond me. I'm so done with you! Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem! If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me! Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. <gasps> we didn't get to read Natsuki's poem! No, Natsuki! No! I still think you're cute, even if you hate us. Hi again, Fushi! How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. You didn't get that dialogue before? I got it. What? A B I I I I S S H. <laughs> Thank you, Itachi. You said, what a beesh. What a beesh. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. I wouldn't count on that. Arch, don't. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I gave my poem to Monica. All right, this one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm? I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most... romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what's going on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that. You must be pretty into her. Huh? Hey, now? No. <laughs> you completely misunderstood. Oh, calm down. I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Ah, uh, a fictional one anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, you know. I was just saying. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. You guys ready? This is called Save Me. I'm worried about all of these girls being like, hurting themselves or hurting others. Why am I so scared of high school and my girls? I don't know. All right, this one's called Save Me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and endless. Cacophony, that's a new word for me, of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, speaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Well. Well, goodness gracious. <laughs> Speechcraft increased to 98. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Royal Man. Okay. I will say one thing I thought was weird. Um, the word squeaking, the Q right here, looks like an upside down cross. Which, I don't know if that's just the font, or if that was done on purpose, but I think that that is really interesting. 
I don't think it has to do with anything, but I just thought I would say that because I noticed it. And it says load me, save me, which once again could be a euphemism, but it also has to deal with computers. Um, this one is a little confusing. I'm not sure, I, I'm not sure what this word means. Cacophony. Cacophony? I'm gonna look it up because I want to know what it means. It means a harsh, discordant mixture of sounds. So kind of like noise. Like chaotic noise or something like that. Oh, so that would make sense why it says the noise, it won't stop. Well, allow that, Coco Fanny. Yeah. Huh, interesting. This is an interesting one. I wonder what she means. Wake me up inside, wake me up. You can't wake up inside. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm checking Twitter again, because I want to be active for if anybody comments about the stream. There we go. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Coco Funny. Yes, it's perfect. Save me from the darkness. I have sang that song at karaoke so many times. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. No. <laughs> hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Uh-huh. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. <laughs> it's just kind of I've never... I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. Ah, uh, thank you, Itachi. Thank you. 100. <laughs> Scooters! <laughs> Thank you. I get excited when it explodes like that. I do, though. But thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Itachi. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's almost like magic. I know, Nalina. The way I wrote the lines really short it makes me feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. <laughs> I don't know if the amount has anything to do with how heavy it is. I just know once it gets over with a dollar, it usually goes Phew. Good night, Crystal. Thank you for coming. Enjoy work. I hope it's good for you. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Hello, faded music mogul. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Thank you for the follow. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Guys, this is so meta. <laughs> you never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected might happen. Wait. Is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. <laughs> Thanks for listening. That's the developers going, save the game. Something terrible is going to happen. We're so sorry right now, but we had to do this. Hi, Temmie. I am here. Welcome, Temmie. Swallow. Thanks for listening. All right, so just because. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Meta. It is so meta, you're right. There goes those faces. <gasps> boom, boom, boom. Oh, there they go. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Itachi. Look at it go. <gasps> oh no, look at it, look at it, Itachi. <laughs> It totally didn't fall in there. You didn't get your explosion that you wanted, Itachi. Oh my gosh. Thank you, love. Thank you. <laughs> Itachi, you just got cucked. You got cucked by, by, the, by the cup. <laughs> We're all done reading each other's poems, right? <laughs> You were totally, you were robbed. <laughs> Please don't leave, Itachi. Itachi. 
Who's that behind me? I don't know. Could it be my setup? <gasps> it's all sparkly with lots of Pokemon and a subscribe pillow and a Pokemon pillow and Amiibo. <gasps> There's also Pokemon Smuckers jars from the 90s. I'm pretty sure it was the 90s. Thank you. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Yes, we are. Thank you. They're just Christmas lights I put up. I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? The kitties are in the other room because they were being bad and they were fighting. And I don't have to, like, get up in my boxer shorts during the stream and, like, fight cats and defend them. Aw, uh, thank you. In memory of Itachi. <gasps> Look, we got one... Two, three, four. Wow, you made him in. Hee <laughs> hee. I should take pictures of my setup close up, you guys, or eventually, that'd be nice. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Well, just of embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Aw, uh, thank you for the host. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We don't need much more than a few decorations. Siori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Oh, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually gonna be doing for the event. Oh, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're gonna be performing. Performing? P um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're going to let anyone who comes up recite poems too. Siori is putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Siori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't... You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? How well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. Ah, uh, thank you. Monica dies at the end of this episode. Hashtag spoiler alert. <laughs> Please, no. No, no, no. I have too many badges, Fushi, help. Too many badges? Oh, do you mean bits? Do you mean bits? We have to see what happens. I have no idea what is going to happen in our playthrough. I can never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys, no, Siori. I understand where, where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until a couple days ago. Aw, thank you, Katrin. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. It's a lot to ask for people to recite their poems out loud to a whole room of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Aw, thank you. I swear I better get a good boom. There we go! That was better, Itachi! What do you think? Look at that! Look at that! Trap Suki. <laughs> I would like that, Trap Suki. Aw, thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much, Itachi. I will take it. A very good explosion, sir. A proper, what is it, cup of mission or something? Intimate with yourself? Intimate with yourself. Greater than, greater than lose. <laughs> <laughs> I 
even make me choke. Thank you, love. Don't you want to share with others? <laughs> I know, not the first time you've been told that. <sighs> do you inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. Thank you for the follow. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe. But... <laughs> I mean the stuff next to uh... my name. I think they're called badges IDK, but I have too many. Yeah, they're badges. You have three on my screen. Thank you, love. Oh, those icons went away. No, they It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get over it. Get it over with? All right. <sighs> Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone's expectant faces. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice. Ah, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. <laughs> I hope not. Please don't die. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a churro. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? I know, Katrin, foreshadowing. Supposed to have four OR, so. <laughs> and then Katrin, foreshadowing. 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 <laughs> XD. <laughs> oh no, don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Of course. Now let's see. No, we're not going to bully Sayori. That's mean. Monica flips through her notebook to a specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. Alright, I'm going to eat some churro before we start reading the poems. Momentary mukbang. Dragon Ball Z. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, Goku uses his Kamehameha and something happens. Explosions, bulging muscles, balls from dragons. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they're from, but my mom gave them to me when I visited for um, this Saturday. But they are very good. They're like little churros. I'll crunch over here so it's not annoying. So you don't have to listen to me make noises. No one likes spoilers, <laughs> but a spoiler I'm making. Han Solo dies at the end of Force Awakens. That was actually really cool how that rhymed, Lord Royal Man. Oh my gosh. No, I'm taking a short moment to just do some eating since I've been streaming for an hour. <laughs> hey, leave my balls alone. Never, ever. <laughs> the balls will be had. And also, thank you again for the uh, wiener dog photo. I appreciate it. Okay, someone's trying to send me... All right, Demure C sent me an, a wiener dog on Instagram. Thank you for the wiener dog photo. I appreciate it. See, these are the kind of wieners that I like to get. These are good wieners. <laughs> Quality post. Quality post. <laughs> All 
Alright, one more. One more. And then I will hydrate. Ah, that's good water. Does anyone else like drink like a hooligan with like their lips around the water bottle? <laughs> Temmy? This isn't even my finale. Form A H H H H H H H H H H H H H H. I love that so much. Yeah, I threw that water bottle across my room. What of it? Now I'm gonna open another water. Oh, it hurts my hands. Can someone help me open this, please? You guys wanna know a secret? If you ever can't open a jar or anything, use a mouse pad and it opens it up instantly. This is one I got from PAX. Unleash the power within, Intel. I would like one of those like cool mouse pads, but no, I got this one. It is an interactive stream. I could be like a robot or cyborg person. Be like, please assist me in opening the water bottle. The water bottle. I know I littered. Actually, there's a bag in the corner of my room. And I totally didn't get in it, but score. <sighs> Thank you for the host, Temmie. I had to make sure I hydrated enough. <sighs> Beautiful. With so much water. I'm trying not to choke on it. <laughs> That's what she said. I don't know, are robots British? I think I'm just really bad at talking like a robot. Oh, you guys, my mom sent me a Snapchat. I'm gonna check and see what that is real quick. Also, everybody who screenshotted that photo of my feet on Snapchat today, I saw who you were. I know who you are. <laughs> Thank you, Archduke. My parents sent me a Snapchat to say goodnight. I love them so much. They're good parents. They are. You guys ready to continue our adventures into wooing this woman? <laughs> ready? A. Is it gonna read it? I don't think it will because of how many H's are in it. <gasps> you tripped the spam filter. Possibly, if it doesn't do it. Cause it's, ah, just because I am funny, ah. <laughs> Got you, Temmie. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Oh, thank you, Septima. Thank you so much. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Isn't this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? <laughs> I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Siori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a deep breath and smiles. That... That was so good, Monica! <laughs> I was huh? paid with Aaron about 300 megabytes of Steam keys for games no longer on Steam 2. Say, Chris, I love you. Quote. Uh. <laughs> That's sweet. That... That was so good, Monica. Uh, thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll go next! Huh? Yuri has fired up all of a sudden! Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quietly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It's called... After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? 
As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she's bewildered, even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Guys, we have 69 viewers right now, according to Twitch, so I just wanted to say 69, what up? Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. Thank you for the follow. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Siri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. No, I sense a fire within Yuri too. This one's called My Meadow. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I giggled. He, <laughs> Siori. Ah, uh, thank you. Sixty-nine hive because it's to loot. It is too lewd, exactly, very much. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out best that way. I see. Okay then. Siori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Thank you! Time to shift the loot into maximum overdrive. I know, right? I, I can't wait till we have another Yuri scene. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. Hi, Blade Blur! It's like I get to read more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Siori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Siori. <laughs> even Fushi liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? Ah, uh, thank you, love. O H H H H H H H H H H H H Lude to powerful love. Thank you, love. Hello. Hello, Micah Crossing, or Mika Crossing. Uh, it looks more like Micah to me. I read it as Micah, but you let me know if I'm wrong. It came out nicely, Siori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that the other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Huh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Hello, Pelotas. Hello, Undead John. Now who's next? Natsuki? Oh, don't make me go before Fushi. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Fushi lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. That's Suki. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel even more awkward. Look, they're lined up by size. They're so cute. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. 
All right then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting? <sighs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Thank you, Itachi. Love you. We can use the fan hammer if we need to. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Oh, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? Jump. Uh-oh. Might as well jump. Go ahead and jump. This is copyright. Uh-oh. No, copyright. That's okay, Itachi. You're good. I just don't know Spanish, so... But I'm pretty sure one of those words meant but or something offensive. I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess that's the case. You won't have much to worry about for the festival. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you having my back. Usually when stuff is in other languages, I don't understand it, so... We know that there is an appropriate level of loot for this chat, and we're pretty free to, like, with what people can say, but just as long as they're not gross. Don't be gross, but you can be as suggestive and silly as you want. But just... Nothing creepy about me, pretty please. Just about the game. That makes me comfortable, I think. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Thank you, Itachi. By the way, Itachi, if you ever want to go to a rave in Orlando, you could totally come with us. You just have to drive to Orlando. <laughs> Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. <laughs> Text, don't you push. <laughs> and oh, hey, Mocha. High fives, everyone. High fives. Yeah, there's raves in Orlando. If anybody is near Orlando, I can always post about it on social media. And uh, Twitter beforehand. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be on your own. It's, it's not a super big rave. They're like little raves. Like, you know, like nerd raves. That's okay, Temi. Sorry, Sorry was, was doing, doing something. something. Oh, Itachi, you don't have a car. That's right. Well, I'll think about something in Jacksonville, Itachi. And then I'll invite you. And you should totally come to it if I invite you to a thing. Or where do you live? I don't know. You want to tell me where you live? I can go pick you up, Itachi. <laughs> it is in Jacksonville. You're not a serial killer, so... Or at least I hope not. R-A-V-V-V-V-E-E-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S. <laughs> Raves. Yes. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. Thank I you, Tammy. On my snap, so yay. You. Are you on the west side? I'm not going to say publicly what side of town I'm on in this Discord, but I can get to you. I can get to you, Itachi. I'm on to you. <laughs> oh. Fly away, Fly in, my away in my space rocket. You no need put money in my pocket. The door is closed, I just lock it. I put my pull plug in your socket. Poem for tomorrow. I love how she, when she reads those things, it rhymes so well. I'm not in West Side, but I can get to West Side. I can. I can. Yeah, I, I would love to go. I'm gonna egg your house, Itachi. I am. Um, 
It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. I've never played this before, Mika, so we don't know what's happening. Or Micah. Micah. Micah, Micah. I think it was Micah, Micah. But we are playing this for the, um, the first time. 69 viewers again! What? Monday's the big day! I can't wait! I can do this! I can do this! Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club, and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Thanks for the follow! Yep! Look at you two, always going home together, like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well? Uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Fushi, you don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. Haha, <laughs> 69k. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 69 kappa. Oh my gosh, how many of those are actually going to land in the cup? <laughs> Look at them go everywhere. <laughs> There's so many kappas. <laughs> you know what's funny? I didn't know that one of my friends was a, a, a Twitch icon. I had no idea the debated one is one of my friends on like Facebook and stuff and like in the community and I never knew that because I'm apparently really slow and I'm stupid but I realized that like a month or two ago but Siori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home thank you for the follow hey Siori sorry I was spacing out oh uh, no wonder um I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, I mean, oh yeah, Junkles, he's on Turkey. <laughs> see, I didn't know that. So let's say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? Aw, oh, thank you. I missed 10. Here they are, Kappa. <laughs> Look, none of them are gonna land. Look, they all go everywhere else. I know, we need a bit broom. We really do. What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. Uh. Okay, guys. So we get to say, I would walk home with Yuri. Thank you for the follow. Or, I would walk home with Sayori. Now, here is where the question becomes, like... <laughs> it's creepy when you use his face, because I know him, so it's weird. I'm like, oh, there's someone. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really want to say that I would walk home with Sayori, because... I mean, if Yuri asked me, yeah, I would walk home with her, but... I really want to say I would still walk home with Sayori, because I would still want to walk home with Sayori. She's my friend. And I feel like even if I started to see Yuri or date her, I could still walk home with another girl because she's my friend. I really want to say that I would still walk home with her. Personally. I do. Personally. But I'm really nervous about this decision. Like, this decision. Like, I saved it, but I'm still really scared about it. Oh, guys. Some people are saying prepare your buttholes. Guys. I don't want to break her heart. Like, I don't feel like I can do this. Welcome back, Kumbugu. I really want to say that I would walk home with Sayori. Oh, chat. What should I do? I love that picture. Archduke. The, uh, your emoji. I'm so nervous, you guys. I still want to walk with Siri. I'm going to do that. And if something blows up, then we can always go back. <sighs> I 
I'm choosing this one, I think. But remember everything you read. All right, I'm gonna choose Siri. We're gonna have our cake and eat it and just deal with it, okay, guys? <laughs> Digging an early grave. Okay. Siori, you really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Huh? But she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Fushi. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted to, too, so... Siri, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in spec speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm. The conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Siri to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Okay, guys. Alright, so we're going to do another save. We made our decision. Oh, guys, I'm so scared. <laughs> ah! Who knows? You guys, stop it. Stop making me so paranoid. I saw the corner of my boxer shorts. Lewd. Alright guys, we gotta try these words again. We're gonna see what I remember. Raindrops? Got it. I don't remember this one. I don't remember this one. Uh, uh, we are not all dead, you guys. No crop top, but I have like, stomach. Lude, look at that stomach. It's the same color as my shirt. That's how white I am. <laughs> no, no car crash, you guys. I'm trying to remember all the words. Uh, uh, re rectum re wrecking. <laughs> don't mean to monetize me. I might have to restart if I don't know this. Shoot. Damn it. Yes. Okay. After image, raindrops. Uncanny. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Raindrop crop top cooking up coke in the crock pot. <laughs> um, you think we should do dark? Shoot! Damn it, Itachi! <laughs> Guys, I'm really scared right now. I don't know what to do. Oh, thank you. More bits I got. More bits. Yes, I did. Let's dance for new babies. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, you have to tell me what to do. Yeah, we soft reset if a different girl jumps, because that's what we're trying to do, is get it right. We're trying to get it right. Okay. So, um, Destiny? Okay. Incongruent? Your phone was on silent? <laughs> I've done that before. Uh, Vertigo? Philosophy. Crimson. Got it. Thank I'm you. Graves for chat. <laughs> Don't take graves for us, you guys. I'm so scared. I'm so scared right now. Okay. Uh, was an intellectual one of them? Because she's like really smart or something like that. No. <laughs> Universe. It falls apart anyway. Oh my gosh. 
Your username reminds me of Animal Crossing, so it makes me happy. I can dig my own grave too. You wasn't you weren't here for the first time I did this. Um I don't know which one this is. Fill the cup. Thank you, Tummy. It's so full. Look at that. I would love to see more pictures of your baby. And I love Honey Pop. I wish we could play it, but we can't. Hello, Shrek. Welcome, welcome. I don't just want to do. It's going to fall apart, power up, and Troppy wins, power up bar. <laughs> don't put those gravestones. Should we do universe? Let's try. Yes, thank you, Itachi. Spinning awesome, Inferno disarray, promise special, fireworks sensation, socks, and sunset. I did listen to you and it did work though. Um, no, I would love to play. Does uh, Katawa Shoujo, does that have nudity in it? Because I would love to play that. Uh, infallible, maybe? Because she doesn't want to have flaws or something like that. No. Prayer? If it has nudity, we can't play it. But if there is a patch of Katawa Shoujo that does not have nudity, then maybe we could do it later. But we can't have nudity on Twitch. I don't want to get banned. I've already been banned once for accidentally updating or uploading a Yandere video. Yeah, I was around when they were working on that game. Wasn't it a group of people from 4chan were trying to make it? Or was it Gudo Chan? Or... Rip Lucia, we will miss you. <laughs> no, Timmy, no, I don't want to die. Um. Ah, oh, thank you, Katrin. Thank Drop you. <gasps> please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Ah, <gasps> oh, look at that! Beautiful. Thank you. It kicked some out of the cup. Look at that. Thank you, Katrin. Thank you so much. My diva always in with them bombs. Thank you, love. Thank you. Oh, for Yandere, no, I was talking about Katawa made by some people on the chans. Oh, you can toggle it off. Well, then maybe we'll end up doing that at some point. Because I love, I love, um, those kind of characters from that game. So, yeah, Diva Bomb. I'm gonna call it a Diva Bomb whenever you use one. Because now whenever I see Diva, I just think of Katrin, so... That's the way it's gonna be. Um, I don't know which word to go with. Treasure, childhood, infallible, warm. You guys tell me. I know it's not sticky, twirl, fun, vanilla, boop. Um, I don't think it's prayer. Yeah, you're always wearing diva face paint. I am, my ears are lopsided, you guys. It just looks like I have one giant ear. <laughs> just waiting for the spoopy twist. Yes, infallible. Thank you, Katrin. Oh, Timmy. Here lies Foosh, we will miss you. I'm so scared. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Unstable, flower, dance, feather, depression, vivid, extraordinary, valentine, ribbon, and fester. Fester, fester, fester. It could be fester. Ah, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Itachi, we need you. Itachi. Um, extraordinary is a beautiful word. Um, it could be that. Feather. Depression. I don't think so because she's not really sad. Vivid. I don't think that. Vivid or fester. Let's try. I think we're going to try fester. Yes! Thank you guys. Essence, charm, together, headphones, porch, portrait. Got it. Vitality, anime, tears, sugar, nightgown, pure, fantasy, shopping, papa, and heaven sent. Ah, uh, thank you! Sploosh! Sploosh. 
Beautiful! You knocked out a bunch of gravestones. Thank you. Isturma, thank you, thank you. I don't know what I am talking about, lol. I just want to scare you. H-E-H-E-H-E-H-E-H-E. <laughs> thank you, Tem. And thank you. Thank you for those hundred bits. Isturma. Thank you, thank you. Heaven sent. Yes. Dazzle, pout, flying electricity, lucky, comfort, pink, family, hair, and despise. Blino. Comfort, lucky, pink. Despise. Did sound like it was saying etchy. You're right. Uh, comfort. I'm so scared right now. Dazzle. Dazzling is pretty. But I feel like that's too sparkly of a word. You think despise? Thank you, Katrin. Thank you. After image. Rest after image. After image. We use that. Uncanny. Hop, silly, lust, scars, sing, cheeks, party, poof, question, and summer. Mm. Just do the longest word. Right now, the longest word is question. <laughs> I am. I mean, for that, if so, please forgive me, Fushi. Not at all. And thank you, Faded. Yeah, usually using the longest word is leading us into the right place. Like right now, we have question, and question is a pretty long word. <laughs> thank you, Tem. Yeah, I think whatever you choose is what changes the game, too, based on which character you impress. Um. Lust or question. I think lust is a little bit sexual, but maybe? Because she's lustful towards us. Anger, judgment, vivacious. Too many do vivacious last time. Contamination, disoriented, email, wonderful, cute, nature, and tragedy. Tragedy is a little dark. Temmy. No, I don't know anymore. <laughs> um, contamination sounds a little scary, but it's horror. Good. Grief, whisper, amazing, skirt, or a sunny, nibble, imagination, lazy, and shiny. I think amazing is too simple for her. Whisper. No. Thank you. Thank you. Help. <laughs> help, help, help. You should help. Aw, very cute baby pictures on the Twitter. I approve that baby is in motion. That baby is moving and grooving. You're gonna switch to your phone? Okay. Yes! Imagination worked! Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you. Checking the Twitters. We've got two more left. I think entropy, wasn't it? Yes! Alright, guys, we've got one last word. What do we do? What do we do for our word? You think it's. Da da da! I am scared. What's happening? Help, help. H, 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 H. <laughs> so many H's, Tem. Hey now. You're an all star. Get your game on. Go. Hey. Hey now. <gasps> and then horror. Isn't it like horror? Horror. Horror. I think we used horror last time. Horror. Horror. I keep looking at my phone. We did it. We did it. We did it. Stretch to the right. Or wait, stretch to the left. Stretch to the right. This way. This way. It's about to get effed up in here. <laughs> so scared. I'm really scared. Okay. I'm gonna drink some water. Um, prepare. Remember, save the game. Save the game. Save the game. Oh my gosh. Save, save the game. I'm doing something on my computer real quick. <laughs> That's 
we wait? We're about to go through the there crazy part. Much am I know grammar? O R A M I grammar. I don't know any more. Help a oh me dog. You do know grammar. There we go. Okay. You guys ready? I'm really scared right now. I'm really scared. I'm the last one here again. Ye? Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. <laughs> Shush you. I swear you guys. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club now, picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination. Goodbye, Bard of Hearts. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the allow start of. But I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Huh? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. <laughs> Thank I you, Tan. I the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with a finger and a thumb in the shape of AL on her forehead. <laughs> you guys freaking and do the whole damn song with those little tombstones. Boof. Boof. Thank you, Tim. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Eh? Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as funny as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. And the years start coming and they don't stop coming. <laughs> Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori! I wave my hand in front of her face. I wish there was a Shrek emote. We need one. I know, I'm dying inside right now. Huh? You're spacing out again. Ah! Sorry! Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Oh god, that kind of looks like Shrek. I am not, Lukey boy. Portal makes me blow chunks all over my computer screen, so I don't think I can play it because it's in such 3D. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayuri shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right, if you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back to everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed, with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Ah, uh, thank you, Katrin! Nervous. Thank you! Go, 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 go. <gasps> Beautiful! Look at that! Thank you so much, Katrin! Diva. Oh my god. Yeah, I get motion sick really bad. Thank you, Katrin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love the little um, emoji that you used. It's so cute. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Fushi, what's up? Hey, this might sound a bit strange, but have you noticed anything with Sayori recently? Anything with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica presses or peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. 
I'm surprised. I'm not the one asking you, Fushi. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. And then the murders began. <laughs> Katrin. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Fushi. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayuri talks about you more than anything else, you know. Huh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way! Sayuri is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it has always been. <laughs> You're so funny, Fushi. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. You guys, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Let's do allow. I think I had the word thickens on the ban word list, Archdukes, because I had to approve that. <laughs> I watched her kneel down next to Siori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear for her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Siri told me not to worry about her, and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her, that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book but she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. Ah, uh, thank you, Tem. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running didn't make sense not live for fun, your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb so much to do so much to see. <laughs> I approve, Tem. That's beautiful. Thicken the chicken. Yes. With, <laughs> without the K, it doesn't block it. By now, it's just a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell what I was thinking like that? Well, it's something I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certain those who will find comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. That's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Siori. Siori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh... So much more than taking the back streets. You never know if you don't go. You never shine if you don't glow. <laughs> Archduke, thank you. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh? That's quite romantic. Huh? Sorry. I didn't mean to say something so stupid. It's not that, I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have been friends for a long time, that's all. I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about your feelings. I know, I take a really long time. I hope you guys don't mind. I take forever to get through games. But we do it together, and we talk a lot. Like, I don't want to ignore everybody, and I have fun hanging out with you guys. Like, this is friendship time right now, okay? This is friendship time. Ah. Aww, thank I you. I was literally walking out the door when you started streaming, and I'm finally back. Did I miss any spoopy Yandere stuff yet? Is anyone dead? Not yet. Nobody has died. Nobody is dead yet. Everybody is still doing good. <laughs> Everyone is super pretty in this game, yeah. The art is beautiful. Okay. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little bit too much. <laughs> Loves you platonically, feels bad, man. And thank you for the bits, Taz. Fushi. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. Ah! Damn it, Temmy! Hey now you're a all star. Get your game on. Go play. Hey now you're a rock star. Get, Get your the show, show on. on. Get, Get paid. <laughs> Hi, Draconis. Ah. So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match but maybe going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I am good. I noticed her strange behavior today too. And I also feel some concern for her. Aw, Lord Ryoman, thank dump you. All the rest of my bits cause I got to go. Increase that pickpocket to 100 fushi. <gasps> Keep the thank loot you. times going, Cap. Thank you so much, Lord Ryoman. Thank you. And if all that glitters is gold, only shooting stars <laughs> break the M O O L D. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You guys are so sweet. I love these bits. They're way more fun than just like throwing money at somebody because it's cute. I wish I could make like a game out of it somehow. If you guys think of a clever way to make a game out of this or just something we can do, please let me know. Or like tweet me or DM me or something like that. But thank you so much to both of you, Lord Royal Man and Archduke. Thank you. And thank you, Startup. Yeah? Oh my gosh. I'd love to see them live. Oh, that glitters is gold. I know, we need a diva bomb. Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are often untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings that you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that... She would be a very fortunate person to have you feel the same way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I want floor bits, too. <laughs> I'm a simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well... As long as you're okay with it. They do have a pachinko thing, but I don't know how to get it to actually, like, do anything. It just, it's like visual, but it doesn't do anything cool. So if you know how to do that, let me know. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Thank you, Tammy! It's a cool place and they say IT gets colder, you're bundled up now. <laughs> Wait till you get older, but the M E T O R men beg to differ. Beauty in the hole and the satellite picture. Ice we skate is getting pretty thin. The water's getting warm, so we might as well swim. 
You don't want me to sing that song. Pick your ears, please. Okay, everyone. After some time passed, Monica calls out to the club room. I'd love to see them in concert. It'd be so fun. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. Aw, Draconis. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Alright, guys. Let's start with our bay, Iori. Fushi, your writing has only improved in these last few days. Goodbye, Tex. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you, love. Have sweet dreams. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. <laughs> Everyone in the chat, F I N S I H I T, do I T for you, us, even if you don't have bits. <laughs> Tell me because you spelled it wrong. Oh, damn it, Archduke. <laughs> Judging by the hole in the satellite picture, the ice we skate is getting pretty thin. -y. Water's getting warm, so you might as well swim my world's on fire. How about yours? That's the way I like. And I never get bored. <laughs> thank you for the follow, and thank you, Archduke. Yeah, I'm gonna hydrate. <sighs> Drink that water. I think that was loud. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. Shot, shot. Shot, shot, F-A-K. <laughs> shot, shot, F-A-K. <laughs> but I've never been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. My battery on my phone's like 15%. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. I will, I will. I uploaded the first episode, I just have to make a thumbnail after this. Maybe, but... It's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Yuri smiles sadly. Fushi... During lunchtime... I eat by myself. <laughs> Thank you, Aiden Central. Hey, Reloadsy. Oh, I like your icon a lot, Reloadsy. The little, um, looks like a button on a keyboard. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact... Hey, Crow Sauce, Xbox Live. I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But... <laughs> finish IT, finish the song for Fushi and everyone else. Thanks, Tem. Books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. And when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And... And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Fushi. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No. That's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. 
I know I'm a difficult person, Fushi. I speak too slowly. I second-guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like everyone else. <laughs> Rip Yuri Yuri will die BTW right now she is dead. <laughs> Tammy in with the interrupting. <laughs> it's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see you that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um, if you put it that way, yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time, she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. All right, guys. Stab, stab, Yuri is dead. I killed Yuri, stab, stab. I think Temi doesn't like Yuri, but I love Yuri. And now we are going to read Yuri's poem. And we're going to hope that it's doesn't have something horrible happen because I am... Ah, Humbuku! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Aww! Thank you so much! Humbuku says, three months has been perfect. Ah, look at that! <laughs> I didn't know it made it explode so much! Thank you, Humbuku! Thank you, thank you so much, love! Oh my gosh, thank you! Aww! I'm very grateful! Do you like a little dance? Aw, and thank you, Katrin. Thank you so much. <laughs> bum 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 bum. <laughs> Hombugu. <laughs> if you need me to send it back, let me know, Hombugu. I don't want you to get in trouble. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you really didn't know, let me know and I'll send it back to you. I won't be offended. No, she shouldn't die. No, I don't hate Yuri as B-A-E. I just want to see her die to far. We don't want her to die though. You guys ready for us to read her poem? Let's do it. All right. So, move my, my thing. A Ghost Underneath the Light, Part 2 The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the ember glow, bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds, the silhouette grows closer, closer. I open my umbrella. Casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I am too late. He steps into the street light. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers, my heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart. Thank you, Tim. I am evil. I want to see them all die, 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 everyone. Teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Beautiful. She writes so, like, beautifully. Like, I know we just picked a random girl, but based on her writing style, this is something that I would enjoy most. Hambuku, it's almost your discord anniversary. <gasps> oh my god. That's crazy. Congratulations, Hambuku, on your discord anniversary. I wish you kept track of that for me so I could, like, wish people. 
Yeah, there were two discords. I still count the first one as part of a discord anniversary for people who have been here that long. We've been together a quite a long time, some of you guys and me. Wow. There were technically three, that's true. Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do you dislike it? No, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. Yeah, Itachi burned the first few discords down. Which, by the way, if you're watching this and you want to hang out in the Discord, please do check the link below for the Discord. I like to go there during the week when I'm not busy and, like, spy on everything. And then if you guys are talking about something interesting, I pop my head in and I conversate. You've been around for a long time, start of. I remember you from a long time. I understand this one. Yuri's having an even harder time speaking than usual. <laughs> Maybe you did, I don't know. <laughs> there is a, yeah, there is a new Discord. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy you shared it with me. So thank you. Oh, did you really? I found your channel while trying to find some gaming ASMR, but I clicked your Ori and me. Blind forest, big mistake. I'm happy you did that, Tem, because I'm happy that you found me. We need more a haggle. Hey, we should post a bunch of that in the 18 and up room. We should do that. I might do that later, actually. <gasps> what? Oh, damn it! I, I almost forgot somebody once asked, could I spare some change for gas? I need to get myself <laughs> away from this place. I said, yep, what a concept. I could use a little fuel myself and... We could all use a little change. Thank you. Thank you, love. <laughs> so thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my or inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her. But instead, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back toward me. <gasps> oh yeah, we don't have that anymore. That Minecraft server went to total, t <laughs> it, went, it went to difficult place I couldn't handle. It is not still up. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can, um, the poem is, once again Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Aw, oh, thank I you. I am not trying to be mean. I said big mistake cause IT was a lot of rage and screaming. <laughs> oh my gosh. You always, you always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah, don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back towards me. I miss Minecraft too. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again, again later. Yeah, I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me. And I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. Alright guys, next up. Let's do, let's do Sayori since she's been sad. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Oh, get that free food. I enjoyed playing Firewatch. Those videos got demonetized. <laughs> My Firewatch videos. I miss your potato craft let's plays. They were great. Aw, thank you, love. I would watch an old man playing Minecraft. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably, Yuri. Huh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. But that's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? And this club? 
Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Fushi. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. I love the grandma who plays Skyrim. Got to pee, got to pee, Fushi, I'll be our bee. Enjoy your pee break, Temi. Thank you for telling me. That was very important. <laughs> All right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Siori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I say anything, Sayuri cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. I don't know if I wanted her to do that. Hi, Fushi. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Yeah, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Your style has gotten so refined, Fushi. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in her whole year. Not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience. And a way to talk all the time. A way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Huh. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. That's... <laughs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading that edgy novel with her. Well... I just, I feel bad. She has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all our time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. OMG, IT lol. It's so catchy. Got to pee, got to pee. Fushi, ill BRB lol. <laughs> we do have a crush. We do. All right, all right. I get you. Just be careful, all right? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I, I didn't mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Er, all right. All right, we get to read. This one, I'm gonna stretch over here. You guys got some tummy action there. And this way. And reach for the sky. And stretch. And stretch. And then crack your hands like a disgusting piece of garbage. <laughs> Repeat after me, chat. Got to pee, got to pee, fuji, I'll be our Enjoy your urination destination, Tammy Tube. Oh my goodness. You guys. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, it is 11.30. It is getting late, my friends. But I wonder how far we are within our story. I don't know how long it is, but I don't want to end when it's right before something happens. You can see some tummy action. Oh, Stomach! <laughs> Too lewd. Too lewd. <laughs> A lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, heather feather, lost adrift the sky, a victim of the currents of the wind. 
Day after day I search. Sushi stomach too, lewd. Thank you. <laughs> I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else failed me, when others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. <laughs> the last dim star glistening in the twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall and I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, feather, feather. A dry quill, there it is, expressionless, but a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end in her gaze. The lady knows everything, knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Oh, that was very pretty. I'm not sure what that means, but I do think it's beautiful. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. You see, I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical, because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> well, one of these days I do have to play some Dead Space. I would love to be in your rap song, Humbugu. I would flipping love that. Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Wearing Fuji, I am sorry. My next thing will be bad and IT won't talk, but I don't care. Because instead of telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little liter literature club, don't you think? My tongue with those letters. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. All right, last we have Natsuki. Guys, if I did I did not like Outlast 2. I didn't like the vulgarity and like the sexual horror element. It was a little like molesty and that stuff always makes me really uncomfortable. I like horror games that don't involve like sexual scares, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't think triggered is the right word, but they make me very uncomfortable. Yeah, no thanks. You didn't even... Next! Aw, I really wanted to read hers. Little Nightmares was awesome. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Was it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? I did Little Nightmares as an ASMR stream. It's also uploaded on YouTube if you want to check it out. Yeah, I have it on YouTube, and it's in my Twitch archive. Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Oh. The stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Huh. It seems you're right. <sighs> 
Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the hell did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Oh, that's... <laughs> Jake says well enough went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously. Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. If someone has a copy of Until Dawn that I can borrow for PS4, I would do that. I don't think I would buy it because I've seen it. Like, I, I know the spoilers, though. But I, I would still play it. But I know the spoilers, if that makes sense. Not all of them, but I know, like, the one big spoiler. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Tushi. Sayuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Um... Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I'm useless. No, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. And now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, I can even tell now. Yeah, I don't handle certain kinds of horror. This is a blind playthrough, Captain. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on... or harder on you when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. I did pick Yuri. I think she's best girl, ethanol. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? About that, I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus, nodding to herself. I like spoopy movies, and I like watching other people play spoopy games, but I don't like playing them myself because I get so nervous. But I love watching other people. Like, I remember I watched Jacksepticeye play Until Dawn, and I also watched Poots play it too. I didn't watch Markiplier play it because he yelled a lot. And I don't like when people just scream the whole time. So I couldn't watch his playthrough of it. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Fushi. The one who is truly useless. Thanks, Tan. MVM, sorry. Hi, Art Blaster. In fact... Both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. Junji Ito is actually... They're releasing a horror anthology, and I think it's going to be animated. <laughs> Markiplier is really loud. Jack was actually not loud during his Until Dawn playthrough, and Poods was actually surprisingly serious, um, which made it very enjoyable for me. I don't watch his normal videos because he yells a lot, but I really liked his playthrough of that. I like Franbo. I do like Franbo. I've never read Sally Face or seen Sally Face. Yeah, I've kind of matured against over that, I guess. But I mean, that's the way content works. You like certain kinds, you don't like other kinds. Then you like it, then you don't like it. Everybody changes their tastes. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's. Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, if, if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica is going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, 
You mentioned that you would like to handle your baking on your own. Fushi may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. Her, I am a woman. Thank you for assuming. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Fushi to... What are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? But Fushi, guess what I am sorry, but your head gets dumb so much to do. <laughs> so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go, go. You'll never shine if you don't glow, hey now. You're an all-star, get your game on, go play, hey now. You're a rock star. It was beautiful. That was beautiful, Tem. Thank you, Tem. Yeah, these blazers are pretty. Come on, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Fushi to decide how she'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Fushi, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Shoot. Now I have to choose what I do, you guys. I have no freaking idea what I'm supposed to do. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know what to do. Da 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 da. Do you guys think I should stick with Yuri? Oh my gosh, but guys, Sayori is so Sayori is so sad. Everybody is saying Yuri. Everybody. Don't break don't break Yuri's heart. Alright guys. Alright. Okay, guys. I saved the game. We have saved. So, we are going to go with Yuri. Although, although, I know I'm doing as you guys say. I'm listening. I'm listening. The chat has spoken. The chat has spoken. So, we're going to go with Yuri. Okay. Oh, it's so hot. I think my heater's on too much. I'm sweating. I'm going to fan under my shirts. Lewd. Lewd here. Because my back is sweating. And so is my face. <sighs> Much sweat. Alright. Yuri. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki. I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No. I was just saying... Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Fushi? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. Damn it, Tem! Damn it, Temmy. I am sorry, Fushi. Two plus two is four. <laughs> Minus one, that's three. Quick maths, everyday man's on the block. Smoke trees, see your girl in the park. That girl is Zayuggers when the ting went quack, quack, quack. You man, we're ducking, hold tight. A sneak. He's got the. I'm just gonna check Twitter. Tight. That's what I'm gonna do, Tem. He's got. bad habit of overthinking these things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. 
Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah! I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a bit sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Fushi? Me? I guess I could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? <laughs> Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, that's not what I meant at all. <sighs> Eerie anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Fushi picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already had that much when she already has much trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her comfort zone. Oh! <laughs> Am I doing this right? Thank you! Oh my gosh, you scared me. Mr. Pikachu, you scared me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm very appreciative. Thank you, thank you. Oh, it scared the little me, like, living crap out of me. It was so loud again. I need to turn that down. Damn it, Tummy! Damn it, Tummy! Pop out the four door with the 44. It was one, two, three, and four children in the corridor. Thank you, Mr. Your Pikachu. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Still man I love the 69. Draw. It was beautiful. I'm gonna spin his jaw, take man's twix by force. Send man shot by force, your girl knows I've got the sow. <laughs> Archduke. It's every day bro with that Disney Channel float three views in six months, never done before. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, appreciation for the 69 donation hype as well as the bits there and those beautiful lyrics. The Temmies are going to go across the screen forever, even though it read out Archduke's one. <laughs> I'm not going to choke and die. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile. Oh, thank you! See, hello, thank you so much! Thank you, look at that. <gasps> Beautiful. I am very, very grateful to have you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. I have new icons in the works. I'm commissioning an artist to do them, so we should have actual emojis, not just um, a face shrunken down that I made. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very, very grateful. <laughs> Jake Pollers in the building, fam. Oh, no, no, no. But thank you so much. Let me know if it's pronounced D Halo or if I'm supposed to say it putting the two together, like Dalo, I think it's D Halo, but you let me know how I say it properly so I make sure I say it right for you. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> subscribers, subscribers. <laughs> because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kinda appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing, but I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um, what? Uh, I turn around. Sorry, I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Are you right? 
I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? <gasps> oh, you couldn't find the chat? Oh, I'm so sorry, love. It's hidden. It hides. It hides on mobile and it hides on PC. When I was new to Twitch, like, I'd always lose it. So, thank you. It's good to see you in chat, love. Thank you. Di hello. Or halo. Under my... I was gonna sing the umbrella song. It's nothing to do with a halo, but... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Di halo. Cool. Awesome. Good. I'm glad I got it right. I want to make sure I said it properly. Thank you. Thank you so much. We do want her phone number, y'all. I think that would be the best way, yes. No! Time to hop in the coffin. It's about to be a bumpy ride. Spoiler for you guys, though. I think that once it gets to when it's starting the next day, we are going to have to stop until tomorrow because it's almost midnight here. And I have work tomorrow, so... <laughs> we might have to uh, stream super early tomorrow. I think that would be the best way, yes. All right then. Yuri and I exchanged phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter how much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Ushi. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Yeah, you should. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. Tammy! 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 The thing goes scrot, pap, pap, ka, ka, ka. No! <laughs> Damn it, Tummy, Tum. Tummy, you're terrible. You are terrible. I chose to help you because that's what I wanted to do. But, Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Huh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you I want to. I know, Temi really did. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if I took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. And even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. You can't stop me, the team goes. I can stop you, Temmy. Look at that. BAM! We have to get we have to get further, Tem. We have to. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. There's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. Alright guys, so... I think that we might, might team go away? I think that we might have to stop for tonight at this part. I don't know how much longer we have, but it is midnight here. And I promised myself I wouldn't, um, 
I wouldn't stream so much so that it went into my actual job. Ah. Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. <laughs> I love that Archduke. Yeah, but what we can do tomorrow? I want to stream tomorrow, and I want to stream earlier, because what I'm doing tomorrow is I'm recording with the ASMR nerd at 10 Eastern Standard Time. We're recording more Stardew Valley, so how about? I gave you lots. Now enjoy the Tingo Scrot Pap Pap Ka 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 Skibiki Pap. <laughs> I killed it, Tem. I killed it. Yeah, I think this is a good stopping point. I will stream tomorrow at. Let me let me check my phone before I give a time promise, because I'm gonna give a legitimate time promise. Let's see. I would like um, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I can stream until about 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So if we can beat the game by then, great. Um, and if we beat it early, we can like hang around and talk and stuff and listen to music. I don't mind what we do. Um, but I do have to be done by 10 to record with Nick, the ASMR nerd. So 7 p.m. Does it sound okay? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Does that sound all right? Yeah, I had a really great time with you guys tonight. We did it for... Almost three hours. That's not bad at all. Um, I don't know. Let me see. Let me do like a, a time, wait, time zone clock. Now I'm gonna let that run. Let's see. And a poo poo har boom sky out dude you cuckoo cuckoo done done poom poom you done no big shot ha. Yo yeah. I don't know what is happening, Tim. Let's see, but it'll be Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what that is in anything else. I think you should Google it, maybe. And you can find out. But yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. That went really, really well. And that means I could go to quit the game. Yes, I can quit the game. And I could take out my earphones and I can do a stretch. Oh, oh we have to run the credits. Let's do the credits, you guys. I think I still have those up, don't I? I do! Alright guys, let's do the credits. Ready? Oops. No, I don't want to launch the widget. I want to... Let me see if it works. <gasps> this there we go! Play Look at it, everybody! There's our credits! Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Yay! It's beautiful! Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Lord Royal, man, you're so funny. Yay, those are our credits for today, which are really awesome. Good night, Micah. Thank you for coming. They can go across the screen. They're beautiful. I think they're lovely. Do you guys like my crappy layout? It's just like a bunch of pictures on top of each other. Yeah, you got to be careful, Katrin. Catherine's right. You do have to be very, very careful. Because if you keep putting things on the screen and they're super long, then we don't get to progress. Nope, sorry, that's going to get a skip from me, love bug. I'll have to put it in my ear so I could hear. And make sure that I don't hear any alerts go off. <laughs> oh, thanks, yeah. And we are doing good. We have nine days to go to get 2,500 followers. I don't know if we'll hit it. I have trouble advertising the stream. Like, I don't know how to get enough people to see it and want to come to it or want to follow. So, yeah. Give you Temmie's mod. And, yeah, by the way, when I see people really active in chat, I do want to make some more mods by the end of November. So, yeah. And it's especially helpful if you are bilingual. Um, because this way if someone comes in and they say something that I don't understand in a language that I don't get, you're still able to know if it's offensive or if it's, if they're being unkind, because I have no way of knowing that. So I appreciate if you know more than one language, because <laughs> I don't very well. I know a little French, a little Spanish, but not enough to be useful. Got that Google Translate. 
Oh, you know Spanish? That's so cool. See, I have to keep this in mind when I make some more mods. Oh, you know Welsh? That is cool. I also have Google Translate. Thank you for following. Oh, you you subscribed and you followed. <laughs> Dihalo. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I think Temi is going to be our mod who's drunk with power. That's right, and you do speak German, but we already have you modded, which is great. And then Taz. <laughs> Thank you, Dihalo. Yeah, you're right, it does make sense. Oh, you know Japanese? That is so cool. That is cool. Spanish and Japanese. I once had a customer who knew at a um, one of my old jobs who was Chinese and he knew Spanish but not English. But he spoke Spanish with a Chinese accent and it was the strangest Spanish I've ever heard in my life. It was very, very, very difficult to understand. Because <laughs> it was like a blend of two accents. I know of it. I can't always be there to click that button that says, like, this is inappropriate. But, yes. Aw, thank you, thank you. You loyal, you smart, I appreciate that. Thank you, Archduke, thank you. I don't know, if someone comes in here and is, and is rude with Klingon, then it would count. <laughs> I won't hurt you, Temmy, but do shorter alerts from now on. I know a little French, but it's kind of terrible. I have a, a subby named Thomas on a Twitch or Twitter who will speak French to me and it kind of helps keep me a little fresh in the French. All right, thank you for coming, little cool GV. Thank you everybody for coming tonight. I had a lovely, lovely time. Thank you for all of the bits, donations, and for the subscriptions and return subscribers. You guys are awesome. And I will see you tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time till about 10 o'clock. All right? Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you for coming. Good night. Make sure to check the links down below for YouTube. Thank you, Tem. Yes. Life is one night, Fushi. That's perfect, Tem. Check the links for the Discord, and the YouTubes, and the Twitter, and the Instagram. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for coming. Good night, Zerapat. Good night, Squawk. Good night, Peter. <laughs>